Duke is just leaving. We're sorry, the number you have reached is not in service. Hey wonderful friends, hope you're doing well and welcome to this week's video where we're actually tackling part two of the people of color social night that I went to a few weeks ago. There's going to be a little more social activity where my friends and I try out a few fun climbs of Blockhouse. So come along with us and let's get right into it. So before the social night started, I spotted this intriguing climb in the corner of the gym. After getting on, I realized quite quickly that it included some sort of dyno move. The position you start on is quite uncomfortable as your body slightly tips out of the wall since it is a bit overhung. Having to keep tension through this Gaston is not ideal and then you sort of sit in this frog situation and then mentally prepare yourself to, well, release. I think the key here is to really press off the right foot and almost jump backwards onto this hold. It felt so far away at first, but as I kept trying, I became more and more familiar with the holds, which made the climb less daunting. So close. So close. Oh no. Getting closer. Woohoo! We made it! The rest of this climb felt a bit awkward because I had to rest my left knee on the feature to go for the second last hold. But otherwise, not too bad. The holds were just a bit slopey. I really enjoyed working through this climb and being able to try it multiple times really proved to be helpful in building confidence to eventually get to that jump. And I eventually did it, which was great. Moving on, the rest of the gang had turned up by now and we were fooling around on this blue climb. Everyone was trying to do the classic Asian squat from the start holds and then the goal was to try to get to the end with no hand holds. It was definitely also a really great test of hip flexibility. <laughs> I spied was in the cave and again not the biggest fan of cave but I did observe someone chuck a knee bar so I had to give it a go. It starts on an undercling and then you sort of cross over to a slopey hold or at least I did. Then you ready yourself to launch backwards to catch this small feature on the left. I was quite surprised that I even made it this far and held on, but the next bit is actually where I start getting quite confused. Luckily, my friend Ivy was there to guide me, but it was such a struggle trying to understand where to place the knee bar while I was upside down, and also my feet were just confused. Here's Ivy giving it a go. so far away, but solid commitment by Ivy. Okay, here I go again. I was determined. The 
The hole that you need to base the knee bar off felt like a really awkward place to put my foot. So you can definitely see Struggle Street Grace trying to jam my knee in there. We got there eventually, but whoa, I was definitely very exhausted. And once I got around to the edge, I felt so pumped and tired. This minor cut move really took it out of me because I'd been squeezing all my muscles for so long. By then, I had no more energy to do this next big move to continue up the wall. But good effort from me. Here's Ivy trying out the middle section. It's so tricky. Okay, one more attempt from me. I've got the beta in my head and I'm ready to rumble. My goal here is to move as quickly and as efficiently as possible to avoid fatiguing. At this section, I have no choice but to cut and this immediately affects my mental and physical power. Another day, another coin to I do eventually make it one hold further, but by the time I get there, I'm again way too pumped to continue. Phew! This climb was quite tiring, but I'm glad I tried. Enough cave for me today. Finally, I present to you what I would say is the star of the show. This is an awesome downward dino climb, which I was pretty psyched to try. As you can see here, demonstrated by the amazing Kim, they pretty much immediately flashed it as soon as they got on. So I was extremely impressed and inspired to give it a go. To be honest, I did try it a bit earlier in the sesh by myself, but it was a giant fail. So I was definitely reinvigorated by watching Kim. For your background, I've never successfully completed a downward dyno before as it's always been super scary to think about. All I ever seem to visualize is me smashing my face on the feature below so my mind always gives up in fear before I end up committing. Does anyone else relate to that? As you can probably tell, my wind up power is not that bad, but I think what happens next is I start overthinking and then before I have a chance to let go, I've convinced myself that I can't do the dyno. And that's mainly the mental issue that's been happening when I've tried this climb in the past. But you know, dinos be that way. Here's Kim giving me some beta and hype. Just a hair away. That one actually looked like I got there, but no. Here's Nick testing it out. Not yet. Here's Tristan giving it a go. Oh no! 
so close. The rest of the climb is also tricky and the right foot here is actually quite slopey. Nice one Nick! The team are now moving on to the yellow climb which is a harder version of the black climb. Terrifying, but equally as impressive if you ask me. The tricky thing here is that there's no giant jug to jump to. You just have to be okay to stop the momentum and hold onto the features or press somehow. So close. Ivy's turn. Oh, I feel you. Very good commitment. Okay, I'm back on it. Nope. Ooh, getting so close. I'm just about ready to give up here, lol. You can definitely see the surprise and joy on my face, but honestly, I was so shook that it landed. I had so much adrenaline in me at the time, and honestly, the rest of the climb I was completely bamboozled by. But I was equally determined to finish it because I did not want to try that dino again. After a few confusing attempts to finish the climb, I eventually made it. And honestly, that was the highlight of the day. Thanks so much to the incredible crew that were there to support me during this night and session. And we just had a lot of fun and a lot of good laughs. So it was great. Please let me know in the comments down below which one your favorite climb was. I actually was very proud of myself doing that downward dino. It was actually my first downward dino ever. So very, very surprised and very proud of myself for committing. Obviously right now, my ankle's not in the best position to do downward dino. So I'll probably have to build that confidence up again over time, but definitely a good highlight of my climbing journey this year. Hope you enjoyed this week's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.